Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I've already filmed like two hours to full tutorial on how I've done all this editing live. However, by mistake, I left the recording screen on the right as I processed before in Sequator and I didn't notice it. So it blocked all these layers here. So I decided to record again and show you all the important steps to help you get a better result with the Milky Way. Let me show you the three images from Sequator first. With medium light pollution removal, you can see more details here and contrast in the Milky Way. And here we have less contrast and less light pollution removal. This was on low setting. And here no light pollution removal. So these were the three results. I imported all these three images and decided to blend in Photoshop the first two. Focus more on the medium light pollution removal and low light pollution removal. I started in Photoshop using the low light pollution removal stack. After this, I made two curves. So curve number one, and I made the image darker. To get this image, I moved the black point. The black point was here, and I moved it like this around this region. After uh, the first curve, I made another. Let's check the second curve. And here I moved a little bit higher the break point and also here on the mid-tones I process it more so it will not be so dark. After this I selected all three layers. I duplicate it like this and then select merge layers and made another layer that is here. And after I made a mask by clicking here on this square layer mask. I pressed here and I created a mask. After the mask was white and I selected the brush and went black with a soft brush. And with black I've painted here the Milky Way and the foreground here, the landscape that you see below. I used the medium light pollution stack that you can see here, this one. With this image selected, I have already made some uh, curves here for the Milky Way. I wanted to apply it only on the second part of the sky, so I've I've made this mask and you see the Milky Way is not affected. However, the sky is a little bit darker and I wanted the sky darker with less light pollution. So before and now. Okay, next step. I used another one of the stacks without the light pollution. The terrain look a little bit better, cleaner. I copied these layers and made a new one, merged them together and made this layer as I showed you before at the beginning with uh, these three. And after, the key is to make a starless image. This is very important because then you'll be able to process a starless image without affecting the stars, without making them too bright or too oversaturated. I made this by going here at filter and using a plugin from RC Astro called Star Exterminator. After, later on, I use also Noise Exterminator plugin. This plugin, you need to buy it or you can download the free version for one month, a trial version. But it will give you beautiful starless. That will allow you to, uh, will allow you to process, in this case, the Milky Way or different nebulas without affecting the stars. And this is, this is the key to get the best image. Stars are very important and if you oversaturate it and make them too bright, the Milky Way will not look uh, so good. And you can do it also for free by using another uh, software called StarNet 2. Here is StarNet 2. You can select here fine tiles. It will take more, but it will have a better result here on the corners of the image. And you just press run. And here is the result of the of StarNet++. What we notice compared with Star Exterminator, Star Exterminator is dark, a little bit darker. Here it looks a little bit darker, but this is also because it has less noise. And here we do have also more noise visible. Here we can see even now if we made it brighter, we don't have so much noise and less artifacts. I'll say it's a big difference from Starry's Terminator here to uh, Standard Plus Plus. So look here, much cleaner, much cleaner. Look how much noise we have here. If you want the best results, 
then you can go and buy the Star Exterminator. However, also Standard Plus Plus can give you good results, good results, but with more noise, a little bit more noise here visible that it can affect also the image quality. Even if you don't buy the Star Exterminator, you still get good results using Standard Plus Plus, much better results than without. So after this, I made another adjustment in Adobe Camera Raw. It will open Camera Raw. I made the image darker with more contrast. And here are the settings, contrast plus 15, shadow 77, whites 41, blacks 4. So we can see before and after. Also I modified, I made an S curve and did some changes here on the red channel green channel and blue channel so i color balance a little bit by using here the tone curve on each color channel from this low contrast image i enhanced the contrast a lot and made also the background darker and i managed to get this result so this is the first part of processing in uh, adobe photoshop try not to over process the image not to denoise it too much not to make it too sharp not to stretch it too much, like uh, make the sky too dark. For example, if we make another curve here and we move the back point like this. So in this case, the histogram will keep here on the left. We will lose all the details and also the contrast will be too strong and it will not look good. And it was too dark. Now let's say if it's too bright. Now you see it doesn't look good, here it's too bright, we will lose details here in the highlights. So this is too much, now it's getting better. Okay, and now it's getting uh, too bright, you see, and we are losing contrast. So we need something in between. So here you noticed I had more light pollution and I made another curve layer here just to and the mask just to remove the light pollution in the corner the mask was, was with black I selected the brush with white and painted here so I would not have a bright uh, corner there that will take the attention from the Milky Way okay next step I selected all these layers like this I selected duplicate layers. After it duplicated the layers, I selected options to match the layers and I've taken this one. Here I was very close to the final image. After this, I duplicated this layer, duplicate the layer, and I made a high pass filter so I was able to obtain more contrast. Other and selected high pass. And here you can play a little bit with the settings. And it will show you here in the image how it will change. And then we can press OK. I used the 150 for this. We need to blend now this uh, high pass filter by using the blending modes. And we'll go here and select uh, one of these modes overlay, soft light. I usually use linear light and go very low with the opacity, like 10% or lower, 5 or 10%. So let's see it 10%. This is 8%, let's see 10. So before and now, you see, we got more contrast. And I was very close to having the final result. I still had to make some few adjustments, like uh, a little more adjustments on contrast and uh, to get out the noise from the image. For this, I used the RC Astro Noise Exterminator with uh, the noise of 50 and 40 and I use this twice to get the best result we almost finished with the group one I made a few more adjustment curves here to increase the contrast and also a color balance layer and get a little bit more blues here so this was the first part with group one in the next group I've focused more on getting the stars back and a few more adjustments now we'll move to the last part of the tutorial, how to get the stars back and to uh, make the final adjustments if they are needed. We'll start by opening this group. We placed an image that has already the stars, one image that I saved from Sequator. At the layer on the blending modes, 
you'll select here lighter or screen. Usually both work good, however here lighter did not work good on the Milky Way, but screen did a better job. However, it did make the image too bright. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it's not. If this happens, you'll go select screen and make some adjustments, curves or layers that will be applied only on uh, the image below with the stars. Like in this situation, I made this layer and I went with the black point more to the right and with the mid-tones a little bit until I got a darker image. So let me show you directly here. Okay, so we click on the round window here and select levels and we get the image a little bit darker. So we go also with the mid-tones. And after this, we select this button here to apply only on the layer below, like this. Again, okay. So before and now. Before, now. And after, uh, I made another layer with a black mask. I pressed it here on the square, made a mask with black and use white to delete some parts of this layer enabled. So I made here the gradients less visible. And now we can move to group three. And these are the final adjustments that I made. Another curse mask. So I made the sky a little bit more darker, but it was too dark. Next, I went with another layer and mask. And also for this part of the sky, the right part and the left one to get better color balance and less gradients visible. And here I made a little bit color balancing also. From now on, I can crop it if I want to make it also ported mode. And I can use also the galaxy on other images, uh, let's say with the center of the gorge. I can move it and make another composite image. The main uh, things that I believe you need to know, use a stack image with good signal to noise ratio, try to remove the light pollution well, this is also a secret, then to correct the color balance, this is also very important, and to have a stylish image to process that and adjust the curves, adjust the contrast, adjust the color on that image to not affect the stars. And then place the stars back and make some final adjustments if they are needed and you are done. You have an amazing image with the Milky Way. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was useful. Don't forget to check also how I stack the images to get a good signal to noise ratio to be able to process it like this and have a good dynamic range. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can see my future videos. Also, I'll make this data available on the channel membership. So if you will join, you'll be able to download the, this data and also process it by yourself. Thanks for watching and until next time, clear sky.